this story right here truly upset me. This upset me. This set my soul on fire. This really, truly, honestly set my soul on fire. If you have been reading the site, you know what's been going on. For those of you who may not be familiar with what's going on, I'm gonna tell you what's going on and then I'm gonna tell you why my soul was set on fire. This lady over here, her name is Anita White. She is a soul singer who has been performing for 20 years using the name Lady a. This is Lady Antebellum. This is a country music group who has been using the name Lady Antebellum since their inception, knowing full out and full well that Antebellum, the word Antebellum, is closely, closely tied and connected and related to slavery. Now, it wasn't until the George Floyd protests when this group started getting called out for their name, you know, during the awakening that they decided that they were going to change their name to Lady A. No, 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 no. We already got a Lady A, but that doesn't matter. So they decided that they're going to change their name to Lady A. I guess someone rang the alarm like, uh, who? Hello? Hello? We already got a Lady A. Almost lost my sense of direction. We already got a Lady A. Okay. Well, with that being said, these folks went and filed a trademark on the name. This woman apparently didn't know that they filed the trademark on the name because she did not contest it or didn't have an opportunity to contest it. They obtained the trademark on the name Lady A back in 2011, even though this queen has been performing under the name Lady A since 2010. Now that you're all caught up to speed, let's get into this. When this group decided and announced that they were changing their name, Miss Anita was like, oh, hell no. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hail to the now. Of course, media outlets started reaching out to her. She started doing press. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. This ain't gonna work. She was like, first things first, if y'all cared about the black community so much, why did it take George Floyd's death for you to acknowledge the fact that antebellum is associated with slavery? Y'all been rocking with that name for years, but y'all just found out that somebody send y'all a memo, did someone text you, did someone send you a bird signal and let you know that antebellum is associated with slavery for you to have this awakening. And now you wanna show the black community that you don't wanna be connected to slavery. So we're just gonna change our name to Lady A. But hello, that name already belongs to this lady. So then what they did was they reached out to Miss Anita. They had a Zoom telephone call. The call went well. The call went very well, according to both parties. They spoke. They were like, hey, okay, let's figure out how we can make this thing work. How can we both coexist using the name Lady A? You know, how can we make this thing work? Boom. Okay. So Lady A, the real Lady A, walked away from this phone call feeling good. She said the next day, she got blindsided. Boop, boop, boop. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lady Antebellum's attorney done drafted up some paperwork and sent it to her. Now, as someone who has received a lot of legal paperwork, it's a certain type of feeling that trigger in your soul. Ayala do that. It trigger in your soul, beloved, when you receive legal documents. It do something to your spirit all up in here, beloved. So I know she was pissed when she got this paperwork because based off of their conversation, I know she like, well, why is y'all sending me legal paperwork? I thought that we had pinky swore we was going to be cute about this and we was going to move forward. So now she mad and Miss Anita got every right to be mad because see now she done got hoodwinked on top of everything else. Y'all trying to take my name from me. Because see, even when Tina Turner left Ike, she stood up in that courtroom and she said, your honor, I just want my name. Because a name is important. Do you realize that a name is the first thing your parents give you after you're born? They might lift you up and be like, oh, he don't look like you. But they give you a name. Your birth certificate, your existence is your name. It starts with your name. Like Tina Turner. Miss Anita said, mm -mm, I want my name. So now y'all want to send these cute little legal documents over here? Okay. Now the truce is off the table. So what I want y'all to do is to run me my money. I want to secure the bag. If you you want my name and you want to gallivant through these musical streets calling yourself Lady A, which still stands for antebellum. Listen, if I call myself Lady Ho and y'all was like, ooh, and I decided one day I got saved and you know that whole life ain't for me no more, but I'm gonna call myself Lady H. The H still stand for Ho? So if you were Lady Antebellum and you go to Lady A, what does the A stand for? Antebellum. So it's no difference. There's no difference. You're still calling yourself the same damn thing. You're just a 
abbreviated it. Anyway, I digress because over here, Lady A stands for Lady Anita. Miss Anita White, queen. Okay, Miss White, if you're nasty. Miss Anita said, you gonna run me my skins. I want $10 million. $10 million. Dolores. Diez Dolores. The millions. Lady Antebellum was like, $10 million? Child, please. And they filed a lawsuit against her. And in their lawsuit, now I'm all, I was already mad, but the lawsuit sent me over the edge. You know, you just be teetering on the edge, kind of looking over with your toes dangling and you like, mm, Lord, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> and when I saw the contents of that lawsuit, y'all, I lost it. I was madder than August Asselina after watching the Red Table Talk. They actually put in that lawsuit that, number one, they have already obtained the trademark on this name in 2011. I was like, okay, all right, all right. That's facts, that's facts, that happened. But did you notify Miss Anita that you were gonna try to go trademark her name? Did you notify her? And I know it's not required, but there's a certain thing about trying to do good business with people, right? Because they know this queen was already out there. Y'all, I had to search and look around, look around before I got the name Ice Cream Conversations. I had to do searches and business logs to make sure no one else had the name Ice Cream Conversations. So as soon as I built my brand, nobody could pull up like, hold on, partner, this my name. You got to shut all this down or pay me a lump sum of money. It's just certain things that you do. I don't know why Miss Anita didn't have her trademark or someone didn't tell her queen. You out here singing down. You done built a career for yourself. Go trademark your name. A lot of people don't feel like they have to trademark a name because they just don't. But with that being said, they filed a lawsuit against her. They didn't want any monetary damages. They just want her to go sit down somewhere because they said, listen, in the lawsuit, they said we was going to try to work with her. We was going to try to keep it cute. We was going to try to coexist. But now she demanding $10 million. So no, we're going to file this lawsuit. We're going to pull up. We're going to flex our strength and we're going to pull out this trademark. And uh, in your honor, please make her go sit down somewhere. But this is what really, really, really pissed me off. In their lawsuit, they said they acknowledged the fact that this queen has been performing as Lady A since 2010. They acknowledged it, okay? Then they also acknowledged, even though they knew she existed, they went out and trademarked her name because why? They wanted the name. They changed from Lady Antebellum to Lady A because Black Lives Matter, but do Black soul singers matter, Lady Antebellum? Because you literally tried to pull the rug, a 20-year career rug from underneath this queen because why? You got a machine behind you. Why? Because you have more money, more clout. You have more privilege. Mm, you just going to jump into your privilege. But with that being said, let me get to the part that really, really, really took my soul and punted it out of my bedroom window. They wrote, they knew she existed in 2010. They got the trademark in 2011. But on Spotify, Miss Anita White only has maybe 166 listeners monthly, but we have 7 million listeners monthly. So what? And, and exactly what does that mean? So you're basically saying that your career is more important than hers? Are you saying that you are more important to, than Miss Anita White? Who gives a damn? And to be, for the record, I went and checked yesterday and she has 3,000. So not only did you falsify information in a legal document, you are trying to minimize this woman's 20 year career by putting into a legal document. She only got 166 followers on Spotify. So the fluck what? And don't worry, I'll wait for you to make a point. Oh, my watch done died. I done talked too much. It done died. So you gonna minimize her down to 166 followers to your 7 million. So what? So is that what we're basing our, our, our relevance on? Is that what we, we're basing our importance on? A number? I told all my ICC friends, go pre-order the real Lady A. Go pre-order her album that drops on July 18th. Go support this queen because I want her to fight them tooth and nail. Even if she does not win, I still 
still want everybody to see this for what it really is. Lady Annabellum claimed they had this awakening only to turn around and try to snuff the career from this queen that she has built over the course of 20 years. Yes, I'm going to acknowledge the fact that when you are in the music business, you have to know the business of music. You have to know how to copyright your songs. You have to know how to protect your, your imprint. You have to know how to protect your, your intellectual properties and all those good things. Trust me. I, ha I used to be in the music industry. I released two albums. They on iTunes. I'm on Spotify. I don't, I don't think I have 166 followers that listen to my music every month, but that does not mean that I did not put my heart and soul into my music. I wish a mofo would try to act like my music don't matter because they got more followers than me. And some people doing that now on social media, they act like you don't matter because you only got such and such amount of followers. So, so what? I see people with five followers saying the most prolific shit I ever heard before in my life, but they don't matter because they got five followers. So let me tell you why Lady A demanded $10, 10 million dollars for her name. Number one, she plans to use five million dollars to rebrand because guess what happened when I went to Twitter or went to Google the other day and Googled Lady A. Guess what happened? I did not see Miss White nowhere. Everything was Lady Antebellum changes their name to Lady A. Lady A with their faces. Lady A, Lady A, Lady A. Oh, Lady Antebellum. And then it was, then it got to the stories about them filing a lawsuit against her. She wants $5 million to rebrand a brand she took 20 years to build. That sounds about right. Anybody got a calculator? Let me do the math. Mm, yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. If I took 20 years and $5 million is too little money for a career you took 20 years to build. She wants $5 $5 million dollars to rebrand herself because now maybe she has to become Lady Anita because of the fact that they grabbed her trademark before she could get to it. So she wants $5 million to rebrand and to sustain herself and take care of herself while she's in the process of rebranding. And, and for those of you that's like, mm, I don't, that don't make no sense. I want you to imagine you woke up tomorrow morning and someone had your first and last name and you could not use it anymore and you had to rebuild a life with a brand new name. And I know that sounds kind of like, oh, Zabi, you going way to the left. But no, I just want you, when someone takes their hard earned work and their hard earned gifts and talents from God to build something and build a career, you, you guys have no idea how it feels to have that snatched away. You don't. I'm having a little flashback, but I'll be all right. You have no idea what it feels like. So she wanted $5 million to rebuild her life, to rebuild her career. Then she gonna take the other five million that is, she want the other $5 million to donate it to charities and organizations that promote and support the black community. Come on now, run her money. You want the name? Run her money. Lady Antebellum. Because as long as you run around calling yourself Lady A, you still Lady Antebellum. Because the A stand for Antebellum. And I got a few other words that that A could stand for, but I'm going to try to keep it real cute tonight. So Lady Antebellum, if you truly about that awakening life, if you truly about Black Lives Matter and the Black community, and you truly care, explain to me how you could snatch this woman's career away from her. How's that okay? And you purposefully did it because you knew she had the name before you filed the trademark. You don't care. All this junk was nothing but smoke and mirrors for a good look. Just like the Dixie Chicks changed their name. I'm gonna look at them three ch child, ain't it three of them? I'm gonna look at them and still call them the Dixie Chicks. Now they just the chicks or the dick, the chicks. <laughs> Sorry. Now they're just the chicks. Listen, with your 7 million followers, you should have no problem coughing up $10 million to give to this queen for her to go on about her business, take care of herself, support the organizations that promote and support the black community and allow her to rebuild her brand. You said that you're doing this whole name change out of respect for the black community and your awakening, but then you're going to try to snatch the career from a black queen. Make it make sense.